Hey guys, today we'll be turning who's the best Spider-Man. And this will be Tom McGuire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. And that's the best picture. So before I start this, I'll be judging this on five, um, yeah, six categories. spider sense, fighting style, strength, speed, agility, and smarts. So let's get on with it. First, I'm going to do smarts. So Tony McGuire, he never heard the trade as the smartest. He doesn't even make his own web shooter, but he makes his own suit, and he actually draws almost an identical version of the suit. Who and art can show can show signs of of high levels of intelligence. But the smartest thing he basically does is say that spiders camouflage with their environment to, as a defense mechanism. Like we didn't know that. So, and then, now Andrew Garfield. He makes his own web shooters and makes the most maneuverable suit out of an awesome fabric. And it actually shows him making everything. So, that's kind of, that's kind of good. But Tom Holland is probably the smartest because it shows him passing in classes. It shows him determining a bunch of other crap. And it actually shows him making his web fluids. This may be a little arguable, but he's all your favorites, so I gotta give this one to Tom Holland. One out of six. So the next category will be speed. I'm just gonna say this one really quickly. Slowest, pretty bulky. Um, not, not the fastest, fastest. Two, zero, zero. Now this next one will be strength. Off the bat, I'm just gonna say the weakest is Andrew Garfield. No offense, buddy. You haven't really shown signs of spider strength. Next will be Tom Holland. All oh, these are Tom Holland, by the way. All Tom Holland, his strength, best strength, is also shown picking it up, picking the stuff up off of him, the rubble which is actually a reference to the best Spider-Man storyline ever. But, and him pulling the fairy together. But he almost pulled the fairy together. He failed and almost killed himself. Fun fact, the actor injured himself while doing that stunt. But, and yeah. He only was able to survive and even save all those people because Iron Man pushed it together. So, yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Tom Holland will not be able to use any of the drones or Tony Stark or anything that he has left. So yeah. Um, and Tobey Maguire, I think he's the strongest. Let me tell you why. He was getting beaten up by Doc Ock, almost ran over by a train, but then he actually was and then he started just and then he stopped the train you think a fairy would be heavier than than a train probably is he didn't stop it yeah you'd say oh this could so heavy yeah that doesn't show his strength and i'm too lazy to, to, to go that far into theory i'm not that serious he actually stops it, and I'm also giving him the bonus because he deserves this because that was the best scene in super freaking hero history. So, yeah. Okay, our next category is agility. Let me show this one quickly. Bulky, not as agile. Pretty agile. Most agile. Because he needs this one and also... His suit helps him flip around the best, and he's the tallest, so that kind of helps. And he's been dodging the most. He literally dodged electricity, so yeah. We have two more categories. Hang in there, guys. Next one will be spider sense. So, definitely the weakest spider sense because his spider sense, there's evidence that's been shown, but they haven't really mentioned it until, until the next move, and, and, until Far From Home. They, they briefly mentioned it in Homegrown, but barely. 
Andrew Garfield definitely uses his spider sense more. But Tobey Maguire is absolutely by far the one who um, whose spider sense is the strongest. It shows his spider sense the most. And yeah. Okay, so two, one, two. This is the last round. Fighting style. Fighting skills. Definitely is probably the Andrew Garfield probably has the worst fighting style because he relies too much on his reps. Tom Holland also relies on his reps a lot, but he surprisingly fights a tiny bit better. And but I think the best fighter would be Toby Maguire. It actually shows him actually fighting, he, and he doesn't always fight with his webs. He does use them, but he fights the best even without his webs. Most people will hate me for doing this. Well, some people will hate me for doing this. Most will love me for doing this. But three, one, two. First, second, third. Well, guys, I, I guess we have a winner. Um, Toby Maguire. And you are, you're all going to be whining in the comments that, oh no, he, but you should have let him use his drones. This thing's rigged. You just did that because you wanted Toby Maguire to win. I did want Toby Maguire to win, but because I thought, because I thought he would win. And I was right. And if we used the drones, he would win automatically and be too OP. So shut up and tell me what you would like to see next. Bye.